Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. And 23 ABC's Kelly Johnson joins us now live with what residents are saying about this brazen break in. Kelly. That's exactly right, Jackie. It's nice and quiet and serene in the southwest Bakersfield neighborhood located off Acres and Harris Streets. And that's what neighbors tell us is the norm. So they were in shock when an attempted robbery took place earlier today that turned into a wild goose chase. Susan Canterbury has lived in her southwest Bakersfield neighborhood for 19 years and noticed some strangers on her way to run errands, but she didn't give them a second thought. Saw them, thought to myself, huh, wonder what they're doing. And just kind of dismissed it, and I'm sorry for that. The people she saw were later identified as a crime duo, suspected an attempted robbery. I saw her uh, trying to get in through the fences. Police were dispatched just after 10:40 this morning. A neighbor called police after watching the suspects breaking into a nearby home. When Canterbury returned, she saw her block had become an active crime scene. When I pulled up, they wanted to get into my backyard to see if she was in my backyard. I was like, I'll please go check everything because that's scary. At this point, the male suspect had fled the scene and was jumping from yard to yard, trying to escape. The chase didn't stop until he was taken down by a police canine. The female suspect was taken into custody after she was found walking away from a stolen vehicle in the area. There was a uh, loaded firearm inside that car when it was searched. So, um, you know, very dangerous individuals, you know, willing to commit these heinous crimes in broad daylight. Canterbury is taking this as a lesson, and next time, she says she'll alert authorities. You just don't want to think bad of people, and nothing bad happens on this little neighborhood. And so, yeah, be aware. Have been identified as Jose the suspects have been identified as Jose Zapata and Martha Ortega, both of Bakersfield. They've been booked on multiple charges and are now in city jails. Reporting live from Southwest Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC.